Hello humans. Before we get started, I just want to make something very clear. I'm not into unboxing videos, so this is going to be one of very few. I'm just doing it because I'm so very excited right now. We have just received delivery of some kit that has been, we've been aware of for a little while, and we've been desperate to get our hands on it. And so I'm going to bring this. Oh, yep, there we go. There's one. And there's two. So. And obviously see there's a little brand going on here. I want to say an enormous thank you to the Kessler team for getting this to us. Uh, not before time because we've actually got a, uh, a shoot on this week where we're doing some miniature stuff and we were going to do it locked off, multi-pass multi composite, but now we're going to have a little more fun. So I'm going to show you why I am so very excited right now excited to the point where I actually suggested doing an unboxing video. Now this is, that's when you know it's serious. <coughs> now I'm guessing that's bits and bobs and this is our main business. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, uh, it's the Cine Shooter, which is Kessler's new motion control pan and tilt head. There we go, what else have we got here? Oh, hello, so we've got wheels. So this is parts for their shuttle dolly, which also comes with a motion control unit. So we have now got in our possession a full motion control, pan, tilt, and dolly kit. There we go, that's mounts to attach the uh, poles together. So our plan is, we've actually already ordered, because we knew this was coming, obviously, we have ordered some bespoke rails to be made for us. Because we're studio-based, we don't really need ones that you screw together. What you know, which can cause issues in terms of little bumps, little seams. No, 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 we don't want no seams, not up in here. So we've actually put an order in to get some rails made for us, which are just single lengths, really strong metal. Oh my God. Uh. I need to get this big box out of the way. It's taking up too much space. It's all too exciting. Oh yeah, there we go shuttle dolly plate that we'll mount our wheels to. Drop on there, cheese plate on top for mounting. Got a little spirit level there, always handy. Okay, so that's our shuttle dolly base plate. Four sets of wheels. So these are the kind of polyurethane sort of skate wheel style. And you've got four of those and they just sit on your rails nice and tidy like that. That's the mount which will go at each end to secure our rails and keep them at a perfect parallel all the way through. And that's the motor for the shuttle dolly. And as you can see, that'll we'll run a belt through there and that's what drives the dolly back and forth, pulling our shuttle dolly. Oh, it all feels so robust. Okay, and then we've got bits and bobs, cables. Oh my goodness. Kessler, I love you. You send me joy. Go, got some mounting bits and bobs. Oh, box in a box. Come on, there you go. Oh. All right, that's everything there. Ethernet for controls. What have we got here? Box of things. This is just so exciting. Ah, you know, you just get to that thing where you're like a kid at Christmas and you just don't care about packaging and you want it to disappear and you just want to be there playing with the stuff. Oh, oh they box it so well. <laughs> okay, and then that, I just, I think it's the excitement. You sort of forget how boxes open, you know? 
And then that, does that come out there? I'm just, I'm gonna tear it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just, I'm just gonna do that because I want in. Go. Okay, mounting business. That's a couple of brackets there. Okay. Oh. Hello. Setup and configuration, silly shooter. Pan and tilt head. This is a three axis pan and tilt head. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's so shiny. Let's get this out. Come on. There you go. It's like delivering a child. Oh, so that's it. The Kessler Cine Shooter. So we've got our mounting bracket here, obviously tilt there. We've got our ethernet ports in the back here and power. Go, that's our mounting bracket there. That's the V-mount power adapter, which they put on ready for us. So we don't necessarily have to DC power. I know uh, a lot of y'all in, uh, in the US use gold mounts. We kind of, as a standard, prefer the, uh, prefer the Vs. Oh, this is too exciting. So you've got your bloody mount there. Sit your camera on this guy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. So that's all of our bits. And then there's a few extra mounting things. Looks like a quick release plate in there. We've got here, power cable. Now the folks at Kessler have sort of expedited this delivery to us. They've been watching what we're doing, really excited. And they've obviously watched in shock and wonder at our previous iterations of DIY motion control. I don't know if you've seen our clouds episode where we strapped a paint can to a turntable, put a bit of string around it to pull uh, our rig along a dolly. That was fun. Um, and then of course there was the TIE Fighters episode where I basically just pushed the dolly along. Um, in both of those cases, this would have been the dream. And what's beautiful and incredibly exciting about this is that this stuff is good enough that we can do repeatable moves. Now that's where, that's where motion control comes into its own, where you can set a move, you do it, and then you bring it back, and then it does the exact same move, and you can do that all day. So like when we did the Psycho House, if we had this, we would have put a move in there, and all of those lighting passes that we did, we would have done exactly the same, but with a move, and then we could put them all together. And with kit of this quality, those moves will be repeatable with such a finite tolerance that they will be exactly the same shot over and over. There's a few motion control rigs out there, quite budget ones, that are really good for what you pay for, but ultimately they drift uh, as they do different moves. Now with a kit like this, we are confident that there's gonna be none of that. So this is just opening up so many doors for us. We've got loads of projects already planned, waiting for the time when we would have motion control, repeatable motion control. So we're just so pumped to get started playing with this thing. Oh, that's sort of it really. Uh, it's not a how it works. It's not what I think of it because I haven't used it yet. I literally just got it out of the box because I couldn't wait. And I just had to share that with everybody. That's it. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. I mean, particularly subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see upcoming episodes where we put this sucker through its paces. Oh yeah. See you soon.